Hey folks, JD here, and today we're going to be looking at this. This is the Canon EOS 4000D. Now it was time for me to replace my DSLR. I had the old Nikon 4000D, no Nikon 3000D I had, and um, I had a couple of issues with that. It didn't record video, it was a purely a picture DSLR, and it was. It came out in 2012 I believe, so I've had it for a few years. And I thought it was time for me to upgrade, so I couldn't make up my mind between the 4000D and the Canon uh, EOS 200D. So I bought them both. So I decided I'm going to show you this one first. And I just want to replace my, as I said, my older my older Nikon uh, for all my stock photography work. And also for the work of, of, with, the, with the photos on the channel. So this is what I've decided to go for. Now there's a couple of reasons why. Now it's very difficult. You see, you see a lot of the issues with Canon is that... I'm going to start off there, negative first. So a lot of the issues are that Canon tends to have out a load of, uh, a load of uh, cameras and tend to not give you all the features. So pretty much the cameras will do, you know, if unlocked, pretty much anything that any of the other bodies can do. Uh, but they tend not to unlock them because otherwise they, there would be no point to them bringing out the new camera every few months or every year. So what I decided to do was I went for two of the uh, one basic beginner camera which is this one and I went for the 200D which is more of a uh, more of an uh, I don't know semi-professional amateur beginner camera it's a bit more sophisticated than this but at the same time I just wanted to have something which is a bit more sophisticated than my Nikon so this is what we have so this looks quite nice this feels quite nice where's my scales I think let's take a weight at the beginning of just the body and then I'm going to take a weight as well of the body and lens so the weight of the body is coming in at 407 grams that's not too bad to hold it feels quite nice I like my cameras to be quite a bit weighty and to be well balanced and I think once I put the lens on here which is in here then I think we're going to have quite a nice balanced camera so straight off the mark as this is a beginner camera you will notice a few things one of them being that this this particular plastic feels quite thin. It's got a nice sort of rubber mount to the front for your hand. Uh, it's huge sort of uh, hand handheld grip there. Uh, quite nice, quite large. The, the 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 overall sort of feel to it is very nice. It feels very well made. It's a Canon, so you know exactly what you're buying there. Um, you've got a nice 2.7 inch screen at the back here. Uh, 240,000 dots per inch, I imagine. I, I I think it said in the in the manual for that. You've got your your at the top. You've got your your standard click wheel here that give you all your different functions from uh, from any sort of manual photos that you can take to obviously the camera being off to video to photo to macro uh, there we are there's your macro lens there to uh, to movie to scenery to uh, taking photos of food because that's a big thing uh, right the way through so it takes you through a load of different different preset settings there as well if you do have it on manual then everything will be manual so everything from the aperture to the exposure to your uh, your auto, to, to your focus there won't be any auto focus on it either every single thing will be well exactly as it, as the term says manual now if we focus on the back first then we'll have a little look at the front so at the back we've got our standard viewfinder here should you want to look through it you've also got your little little screen there as well which you if if you like me you prefer to line up your photographs there and then execute the photos once you've lined everything up then that's exactly how you how you can shoot or some people prefer to use the screen and not the viewfinder it's it's purely down to preference so you've got your record button here for your for your movies you've also got your um i can't see this have a look you've got your there we go so i'm looking through another camera looking at this camera you've got your av settings here as well as your trash for your photos you've also got your iso change your uh, your timer as well as burst shot You've got your uh, autofocus there as well and your set button to go through the menu. You've also got your menu button at the bottom and this is how you get to your, your still photos. You've also got a little button down here as well, a little LED, a little notification down there as well. That should tell you when you are taking video. You've also got two up here. You've got your, um, your minus magnification and your plus magnification. You've also got your two straps holders here you do get a strap with it don't know if you saw me pull that out there's the strap standard canon strap there uh, so you can just loop it around and you have it around your neck or have it around your shoulder however you wish to have it around there you've also got your shutter button there as well so when you do it's got uh, well, the same as any camera it's got two motions click half foot to autofocus if autofocus is what you've got on and then click fully then to actually take the photo to execute it you've also got your flash 
um, mounted the top there as well. It has got a built-in flash just around here. Uh, there we are, just for you to see that. Uh, as well as it has got a couple of other things as well. Now, I did read in the manual beforehand that it said that the, the mount was plastic. It's clearly not plastic. It is most definitely metal. And if you open up the bay door as well at the bottom, that is where you get your battery and your SD card. Now, the SD card I've chosen for this is, let me just grab it, is right here. It is SanDisk Ultra 64 gig. I don't like to have too large a uh, too large a capacity camera as I have had a few fail and I've lost all my photos in the past. So I tend to just choose 64 gig as I shoot in RAW. So therefore I've got more than enough space on here to, to cope with my uh, my photos from a day. I also, in my bag, which I have here and I'll be coming on to a little bit later, I also have another two or three cards of this. So should I be just going out and shooting and I find that my, ca my card has, uh, has failed, then I can just swap it out without there being any issue. Okay, I lose the photos I've taken, but at least my day isn't spoiled. So there's that. The front of the camera looks quite nice. You have your standard lens cap on here, and you have your, your lens uh, remover, is it, as it were. Just uh, just push it down and then twist, and your, your lens will come out. You've got your microphone here as well. Single microphone, single channel, not dual. So mono, not uh, not stereo. And then you've got your HDMI port and your uh, your standard mini USB port there as well. So let's just close that up. All in all, it feels pretty much like a standard Canon camera. Looks pretty much like a standard Canon camera. I, I don't think there's going to be any issues there whatsoever. So a couple of other uh, things about this particular camera. It's an uh, 18 megapixel sensor. Um, your, your ISO sensitivity is from 100 to 6400. Although if not in optimal light, 6400 is going to look quite noisy. Uh, continuous shooting is at 3 frames a second for photos. Your optical viewfinder has got 95% coverage, which isn't too bad at all, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, movies, you've got a couple of options. 1080p at 30 frames a second. Also, 1080p at 24 and 25 frames. 720p at 60 frames a second. And also, 720 at 50 frames a second. It does have built-in Wi-Fi. There's no NFC and no Bluetooth, should you want to use that. I use Wi-Fi now and again, but then NFC and Bluetooth isn't a, isn't, a, isn't a big deal breaker for me. This camera I'm shooting on now, this has NFC. See Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and I've never used any of them so that's fine I'm going to be retiring this camera and I'm going to be going solely towards GoPro and Canon cameras that's it right so let's look at the lens so if I put everything here for the time being we've got the battery and the charger which I'll come on to as well and a couple of other things here as well I'll come on to all that in detail in a minute so here's your standard lens so this is your standard lens that Canon gives away with the particular camera. It's an EFS lens. This camera does take e EF or EFS lenses. It's from 18 to 55 millimeters, as you can see around here. It's not a Leica lens. It's not um, a, a Zeiss lens. It's a standard Canon lens. To be perfectly honest with you, that's good enough for me. There's your macro ratings at the bottom there. You've also got your autofocus on the side and manual focus there as well. As standard, it's on autofocus. You can try with auto, shift it to manual if you want to uh, and I'm going to see exactly how this goes it is obviously quite nice it does have that really nice Canon action and hopefully that means you can get a really nice photo from that so if I just take this off again you can see the lens one side and then if you just unscrew the back that is where the body fits onto uh, onto the lens so if I just put this back on for a second because I do not want any dust because I had dust inside my neck and once and it took me hours we're trying to get everything apart and to get everything back on without there being any dust. This is always the bit that uh, that that confuses me a little bit because I've got to line it all up and I can't see properly because I'm looking through another camera. So just bear with me a second, folks. I think I've got to line this all up here and then twist and click. There we go. Easy as that. So line up this white square with that white dot. And then once you've done that, you can just focus it on there and then click over to the right. And it just clicks on as you heard with me. And this is what she looks like. Full body included, uh, sorry, full lens included with the body. So if I just, if we take another little weight reading. So we had, I think it was 407 grams to begin with. So body with lens is coming in at 608. That's not terrible. Feels quite nice. Feels quite nicely weighted as well, to be honest. It doesn't, it's not pulling down towards the front. And it is, it actually feels really quite good. It actually feels really nice. So I'm hoping that that is, is actually gonna gonna be nice in the field. There we are, that's the that's the full look. And that's full optic as well. There we are. 
certainly seems nice. I really can't wait to get out there and test this. So there we go. So there's the camera. There's the lens. Uh, your uh, your 1.6 times the focal length of the lens is or the maximum you're going to get of this one. Just 1.6. Uh, but to be fair, that, that's okay. At least it comes with a lens. So many of these cameras just come with bodies and you're talking an extra two or 300 quid for the lens. So as a nice start to begin a kit. You can't go wrong with that. I think that's I think that's pretty good. Okay, next I'm going to be taking some photos and I'm going to be putting them up on my stock site uh, and seeing exactly how they go, see how many I get rejected, see how many I get approved, and see what the noise level is like of the different focal lengths. I'm going to do a couple more videos on this. This is purely the unboxing, just for you to see exactly what it is. Give me a couple of weeks with it, just so I can learn its, its little intri intricacies uh, and its little foibles, and I should be giving you another update on this in a little while. So let's put that to one side. Other things you get in the pack cannon strap you get your your standard three pin charger plug if you're in the uk um there we go you get your battery charger and your battery now this particular battery i haven't written down like normally i write down the the the, the milliamp hour of this i haven't with this one 7.4 volt 800 860 milliamp hour which isn't too bad at all to be fair that's that's actually all right uh, you should get a, a, a complete sd card full uh, by the time this runs out hopefully but i'll let you know uh, on the, the whole battery side of things, as and when, I uh, I take her out. Just FYI, when, the, when I'm going to be, in, in the time that I'm making this video, it's it's Saturday, the 1st of June. And uh, I can tell you, the rest of my Saturday is going to be taken up with this. So, let's see if we've got any charge whatsoever. Let's put her on and let's see. Yeah, there we go. So you get your standard date and time settings should you want to set them. Is it not touchscreen? No, it's not touchscreen. That's okay. That doesn't really bother me as such. But you can change. There we go. G456, January, February, March, April, May, June 6, uh, 2019. There we go. And what's the time of me as I'm recording this? The time is 11.56. So I could just do quickly 11. You can see it's very intuitive to go through all this. Day, uh, yeah, day, month, year, that's fine. I don't think they've got Bristol in this. No, okay, we'll keep it as London. And then, okay. There we are, no card in camera, that's fine. But at least it gives you, oh, there we are, perfect. That's nice and easy to get to, uh, where's the menu button there? There we are. So image quality for the second is large JPEG. I don't want that. I don't want large and raw. I just want raw. That's fine. Beep is enabled. So you can see it gives you a lot of a lot of options there. There we are. White balance reduction, white balance shift, ISO, ISO auto is 3200 max. That's good. Release that within you. It, my, my concern is by going to 6400 with this, and, and such a such a um, uh, well a, a lower quality lens, it might end up quite quite noisy. So I'm going to stick. I'm going to leave it at 3200, and then you've got all the other options here as well. You can have your grid display if you want to aspect ratio. Okay. Goes through auto power off 30 seconds. Let's increase that to a minute. Because there's nothing worse. I had my my Nikon. I think was stuck on something stupid like 40 seconds. So every time I oh right there's something I want to take a photo of, it was off. Uh, so I might end up increasing that quite a bit as well. There we go. That's just everything. Wi-Fi is disabled. That's going to save your battery as well. If you're not going to use it, it means I'll just leave it off. Perfect. Okay. So that just takes you through a little bit of, of, of what the camera can do there. And then you should hopefully then be able to see. There we are. You've got your standard as you shift everything. Yeah, you can see ISO is auto. Yeah, as I'm just moving the lens there. There we are, perfect. Well, there we are. I'm going to take a little while to actually read about everything that I can do with this. And um, hopefully, it's going to mean that towards in the next couple of uh, couple of weeks, I'll be able to give you a full rundown on how that actually works. And then we're going to look at the 200D, and I'll give you a full rundown on that as well. So, for the second, I'm very happy with that. The price comes in at a very, very good price point, to be honest, for this particular type of camera. And for, the, for this particular make of camera as well. And it's a lot cheaper than my, than my Nikon was. Let's hope it is better than that. As for a carry case, this is what I've gone for. Standard Canon carry case. Looks very, very simple. There we are. That's literally it. Just got room at the top there for your cards and, and your accessories. That's where your body and your lens sits inside there. And it's all zip around. You've got uh, a strap that comes with it with these nice... that just hooks into these nice little areas here. And you've also got 
your little front pouch there as well for any sort of SD cards or peripherals that you want in there as well. So that in itself, that's quite nice. It's not very large, it's quite a small bag, but I do like to have everything, my quads, my cameras, everything in a proper little luggage bag. Saves anything getting damaged as these, as these aren't that cheap. There we are then, folks. I think we'll leave it at that for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and ring that bell too. Hello and welcome to all the, all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy filming.